Hello YouTubers, welcome back to Brimbang TV and this is the Football Index videos, five for short. And um, thank you guys for joining me today. I just uh, wanted to put out a, a video out there today um, because I, I kind of been thinking today regarding uh, the order book uh, video that I made the other day um, and I just wanted to add a few more points to, to what I've already talked about previously. Um, I wanted to also potentially um, kind of elaborate on how I think um, a, a, a stock market um, or an instrument, um, financial instruments um, orders move around. So how price um, moves in relation to the orders coming in. And I think it's a very important thing for people to understand. Um, with regards to guys that haven't traded before, that plays a really crucial part to understanding how the football index prices um, move around. So I'm talking about the buy and sell orders coming in. I'm talking about supply and demand. And I'm talking about um, bid and ask prices. Um, so basically, I, I do. I want to just um, start off by apologising regarding the the right, and I'm trying to use paint to kind of illustrate um, my point here. And um, it's very difficult to use, especially as a pen. So I do apologise for the right and then the the kind of layout of the um, illustration. But hopefully, I'll be able to get the point across that I'm trying to get a point um, here. And from there, I'm going to go on to kind of illustrate my concerns based on those those points and kind of give you guys an overview of what I think the the market is at the moment and those that in turn kind of helps me raise some concerns that um I just kind of don't quite get at the moment I'm I'm sure again guys this is this is well well above my pay grade um when it comes to the order book and how the actual mechanics of of a stock market or football index as a whole would work um but hopefully i can kind of use this video to to get you guys to understand where my viewpoint is coming from with regards to to the whole order book and in fact the order book evolution that's about to occur actually highlight some points with regards to the actual current system that we're running on and how it all works in the first place so that's kind of what this video is all about here um and uh we'll, we'll see we'll see how we go with with regards to this i do have a little bit of an example that i'm going to try and um, push through um near the end so i can kind of use that to illustrate the the point a little bit better um please do leave me some comments um share your thoughts with me um and so we can kind of um crack this down together guys and see if we can um, um have a better picture of what what might actually happen when this would when this arrives um as a whole so basically um, what you can see in front of you here guys is um essentially i'm using this to illustrate what an order book looks like right and the, the square blocks you can see there are, are chunks of orders coming in right these are all limit orders as we we um, know the limit orders is what will create the liquidity at the back end so there's all it's all good buying up market price which is where the, the price is currently sat out so if we used a uh we use a two pound actually we use a pound a player one pound a player yeah now you can buy a market order at one pound um i do apologize about this you can buy you can buy a player at one pound at the market price which would be at my one pound but then if you have an order book what you could get is prices at one pound one pound twenty one pound thirty one pound forty and so on and so forth and that's what it would be like and these blocks would be orders depending on what customer it is would be placing their orders depend on a specific price point in the buy or sell category of the order book right so if you wanted um the, the player uh, the um, hypothetical player we're talking about right now at one pound 20 then you'd be putting your order at a one pound 20 slot of the buy um side right and we're for for the sake of argument we're going to be using the 300 um limit um buy blocks that we have on football index so 
if you wanted to buy at 120 you'd put 300 orders of 120 here and that would then potentially ride up to your order um order point and then click you into the market based on you or the market moving into that direction of where your price is at so that's essentially what would happen right and the way demand and supply would work right in relation to the order book is what you get is at one pound if there's more ask than bids on at that at that level so if you've got more um it, say for instance you had 300 here right and 300 there they get cancelled out and then they move on to the next block and they get cancelled out and so on and so forth and the orders get trickled down and price moves in in relation to where the order is telling it to go so if it's a if the cells are a lot stronger then the price essentially on the on the price chart that you see on football index will start heading downwards because the sellers are a lot more there's a lot more demand for selling than there is for buying at that particular time right so the price would start dipping down and then the order will start to cancel out eventually until there is no orders left on the sell side and then you start to see the the price on a price chart start to bottom out or flatten or lighten um, a flat line and then essentially what would happen is if you start to see bids come in more more buyers than sellers and orders start getting cancelled out then the demand for buying comes in and then you see the price of a of a of a player then shoot up from then on so that's essentially the way an instrument um a, a market behind the scenes should work now saying that and i hope this I, i'm not going to go too far into this because I, I i've really struggled trying to get the explanation to the point that i want it um i ho i really hope that makes sense to a certain degree because a lot of the stuff i'm going to be talking about next for comes off the back of understanding how supply and demand works and how orders should work and essentially how they they push or control where price heads to on a price chart depending on what you're looking at so understanding that we're going to move on to the next part of this uh, conversation where based on understanding how orders work and how supply and demand works and coming from a slightly different trade and background I struggle to understand certain things with the platform at the moment, right? And I'm going to try and elaborate on this so you kind of understand this. I did touch on slightly on this on the previous video I did, but I just wanted to point it out a little bit further, right? Now, what we currently have at the moment, right? We have something called the instant sell button. And to me, realistically, we have something called an instant buy now button. And I'll explain to you why I think that is, right? So with the instant sell, if you think of it this way, right? You're going to sell a player, right? Uh, I'm trying to think of the best way to kind of il illustrate this, right? So I, I think I got Mason Holgate here. Mason Holgate, right? So we're trying to sell Mason Holgate. I've had Mason Holgate on here for sale for well over a month now not been sold nothing's happened right but then normally when you have the instant sell button this is this is a limit order i've put in here guys technically this this is a limit order um because it's not the instant sale so the the limit order is is saying to sell me out at whatever this price is at now i want to get out right now but unfortunately there is no liquid uh, liquidity in that player for me to get out now there's no one else on the other side of that of the other side of that order to take that bid right so actually sorry to take the ask right so i've put in an ask of um 85p right is that 85p right now and no one's coming in at that bid at 85p to cancel out this order hence it's still sat in there I've, I've, as, as far as i understand that's how it would work now football index then provides something called an instant sell button now for me that instant sell button is essentially fi providing liquidity for some of these players or for for the business uh, for the market in general because they they think okay you you want to be able to get rid of what you want to get rid of to a certain degree so they provided an instant sell now for me that means if you decide to sell a player right now guess who's taking the other side of that order football index is 
where what happens after that stage of football index buying that share back off you is completely beyond me that's beyond my pay grade but i want people to kind of understand the mechanics of the ind- of the index because if they don't they might potentially run into trouble thinking of, of, of different things here and there but basically so you've got this scenario right now where we have a, a disabled instant sell button which currently doesn't work and i'm sure there are some issues with fi collecting a lot of these liquidity that might be potentially why the instant sell button is completely disabled at the moment i haven't tested it since since i last tested it but it was disabled at the time of of, of me checking um so that's with the instant sell button right so you 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 you've got a scenario currently where fi are potentially facilitating the liquidity of those um, instant sell purchases that are done right because if you if they don't facilitate it what you then have is a situation like mason holgate here which i've hold held for well over a month and still haven't sold because there's no liquidity in that person right now moving on from that we now have what you have here as the buy and sell buttons right buy and sell buttons now the reason why i mentioned i feel like we have an instant buy now button is because technically you could pretty much click on any any player right now on the index and be able to buy into that player now i'm just going to repeat that and hopefully you guys kind of grasp um the bit the points i'm getting at here slowly right now if you went on the index unless anyone else has experienced any different please do let me know in the comments but if you went on the index right now you cannot physically you you sorry you can you can buy absolutely any player on the index right now right now if you think about what i'm saying it would pretty much conflict with the order book essentially and i'll explain I'll, I'll try and explain this a little further right so if you if you think of the fact that i can't physically sell any of these players right now why am i able to buy them right now do you understand where i'm going that there's got to be with the way a, an instrument or a market works there's usually got to be someone else on the other side of the order to take it if not it just wouldn't it wouldn't be facilitated order there has to be someone else on the other side of the order right so who is on the other side of the orders that we're buying into right now is the question right that technically means football index is still providing liquidity on the buy side right because i mean why i'm going to show you guys i'm going to show you guys this right this is the divok origi uh, a lot of you guys would probably know him if you watch the Premier League. He, he plays for Liverpool. I think he's a really good player. Um, probably um, not had a, a bit of a, a a leg to go by because of how well Liverpool have been doing over the years. Um, with Firmino, you probably won't be benching Firmino anytime soon. But re- regardless of that, this guy is a brilliant young player. You've seen him score some really, really ridiculous goals right for Liverpool. And I rate him. Now I was looking at Origi and I was thinking, okay, I might potentially want to buy him um, in relation to uh, the, pre- the season starting up at some point soon, right? Now, this is the issue with him, right? <clears throat> As I was explaining throughout all of what we've been talking about, as you can see, there's been a lot of selling in Diva Origi. I do apologize, but the charts seem to not work properly with um, this browser. I'm not sure why. Or maybe. Uh, but basically, you can see his price continuously slowly decreasing since the 16th of february 2020 and it's just been dropping ever since so there's a lot of um there's a lot of ask orders coming in right so people are selling there's a lot of asks going in and people are selling 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 till here 11th of april 2020 and origi is completely flatlined there is no one selling origi there is no one buying Origi. Origi is completely flat right now, right? So technically, what I'm trying to say is, based on the order book and how all this should work, if I went in to buy Origi right now, I shouldn't physically be able to buy Origi, right? Based on what I understand from my experience of trading, I shouldn't physically be able to buy Origi right now because he is flat. There's nothing going on. There's no orders in there. 
right? There's no buy, there's no bid, there's no ask orders, there's no sell, right? So would I, should I be able to buy him? And if I'm able to buy Origi right now, what is that saying? Is that saying to me that I am correct in saying that Football Index provides a lot of the liquidity in the, in the market currently, be it the instant sell button or be it the buy now button that you see as the buy button, which is this 90p right here. To me, if this flat is, if this has been flat for well over a month or about um, a month, a month or so, technically this button should be grayed out you shouldn't be able to buy it right because there's no one else on the other side of the order apart from the fact that if you look at the what i've been talking about so far then it would fall in line with football index taking a lot of that liquidity um, aspect in now there is a reason why i've been talking all about this because it then it kind of trickles down to how this new order book system is going to work and to be honest with you it kind of points out the fact that there might potentially be two different systems at play here right so you might have a current system that we're on where fi currently provides a, a most of the liquidity in the market to a certain degree especially on the, the very illiquid players that you see the very well unknown players um so and then you then have the the system which we might be going into if the order book dictates that or if the order book means the, the sorry the coming of the order book means that there's going to be a completely new system in place to kind of facilitate orders then so be it then then that might be the case but until i find that out i'm i'm not i don't quite understand how to approach the whole the whole thing here now I'm not an expert at this. I've never till till date I can put my hands down and say I've never traded using the order book. It's something I've known about for years now because I trade in the financial markets, but I have never traded the order book. So this is all experience based on what I know about the order book and what I know about trading in general and I'm it's kind of uh bringing out a lot of question marks in my in my head with regards to the platform. Not um selling out the platform in any way shape or form completely love football index hands down give great shout out to adam cole and the team over there doing great work but at the same time a lot of these questions for me are, are something that i would personally like to be answered before i can i'm not saying trade on it because i will i currently trade on it without knowing a lot of these answers but <clears throat> It would help understand how the mechanics and the back end of Football Index actually works and would take away a lot of those question marks in the long run. Now, talking about the Origi and um, prices being flat and if FI is taking the other side of the orders at the moment or not, it's yet to be understood. If you have any um, uh, comments with regards to what I've talked about so far, please uh, do leave that for me to, to respond to. Uh, the other thing I wanted to say, so you've got Divo Karigi. I did have another point, right? Okay, I wanted to show you guys something, actually. I wanted to kind of, based on what I've explained so far, give you an example of what would happen if, if we are in a scenario like this still and we have a system where you have an older book, right? So I'm going to go sh real quick, right? Um, I'm going to go real quick to my trading um, account, right? This is my uh, Forex market trade and stuff. So this is uh, um, uh, for trading um, FX market, so currency pairs and stuff. Nothing to do with um, nothing to do with uh, with FI. But the only thing I wanted to show you guys from here was the order book, right? I just wanted to show you guys something on here. Hopefully, I can. Um, elaborate my point slightly just bear with me guys that i've just i'm having this load up slowly i'll just close this down come on right so we've got the order book here and there's a reason why i'm gonna kind of see if i can explain this all 
right so we've got the old book if i just move this over here and this is what the not the fi order book would like but as i explained in my previous video this is kind of what an order book would look like um a lot of them pretty much have the same kind of format um you might see um, a slight variation on how the layout is and you might see um, different price points and whatnot depending on the charts you're looking at but this is essentially what the order book would look like on football index um, apart from the layout wise right and you can see all here these are the boxes you can put these are price points you can put um, the amount of quantity you want to sell on um, or buy on each of these boxes and you can see i'll scroll over them they say limit because that's all you potentially could set on the the order book or you can do uh, buy at market and sell at market but you, essentially when placing on the order book you're putting a limit order down right now the reason i've come back here uh, is because based on what we've been talking about so far right as in fi potentially pr providing a lot of the liquidity currently with the instant sell button and providing the the liquidity currently with the instant buy button which you currently see as a buy button for me that to me seems like an instant sell button if we go by the rules of trading the rules of um, what we've been talking about so far now saying that if I for instance actually um, before I before I go back to that I actually forgot to, to, to do something with regards to the example I said I was gonna do right we talked about the flat line of Origi here it has been flat for a while there's no buying, no selling. So technically, there should be no one in that orders. Um, I shouldn't, based on the rules, I shouldn't be able to buy Origi because there's no one on the other side of the order, except for the fact that I've mentioned that F5 potentially creates a lot of this liquidity that we are we we don't know about um, by buying it on the other side, um, by selling it to us in the first place on the other side. So they're taking the other side of that order. That's what I think that liquidity is coming from. Hence, you're able to buy pretty much any player at any given time on the index straight away now i'm going to give an example using origi because right now he's flat right so technically if i were to buy origi because i can't sell him right now right i couldn't sell origi right now because the instant sell button is disabled and there's no one in the orders from what the charts telling me right the charts telling me there's no one in origi right now so technically i should not be able to buy him as well as the instant sell being disabled would I be able to buy them right now? Let's have a look. I'm going to buy. In fact, let's have a look. Can I buy 10 of Origi? Right. Own share zero, balance remaining. So it's going to cost me 16.76 to buy Origi at 90p, right? And based on what we've been talking about so far, technically I should not be able to buy Origi. If I click buy right now and it works, for me, the system we're running right now, it means FI provides a lot of the liquidity on on the back end because of the fact the platform's so new. And if you think about how many players there are on the platform, not every single one is a Van Dyke. Not everyone's known. So there's going to be people there that come on like there's not people they're just waiting for you to want to buy a player to them to sell them to you so fi is basically providing the other side of this now if i click buy confirm add it to your portfolio how real real quick <laughs> real quick right so as an example i kind of just bought origi and it went through perfectly fine so um I think that just proves a little bit of the point I was trying to make there. And that's that's all I wanted to kind of do with the example, really, just to show you guys what I mean by that, where with the prices being so flat for so long, meaning there's no trades in this, there's literally no liquidity. Um, so technically, I shouldn't be able to buy this unless, as I said, F5 is currently providing a lot of that liquidity and we're currently running on a, a, a system that may be different to the, the system that we run on when the order book comes in. Now, saying that, going back to this, we're going to just do something real quick. So I wanted to give an example of, pardon me, of what I think might happen when it comes to the order book potentially changing the way we trade slightly. Um, not 
potentially not for the longer term traders guys that buy and hold might not use the order book might use it only when they're actively trying to buy a player um but with regards to say for instance i did brilliant um research on divok origi find them exciting want to invest right this minute right is at 90p i'm thinking origi is 24 years old I think by the time he's 27, he's going to be at £3.50 or £4.50. Then, whoo, excitement. I want to get involved, right? How can I get involved? Now, currently, you just have the buy and sell buttons, right? You, you currently have the buy and sell buttons like you have here. But this is all going to change. What you'll you have is a chart. You might be able to place orders on a chart, depending on what kind of chart and platform we're going to go with or what FI is looking to do with some parts of those phases. I'm guessing you'll be able to get um, get to a point where orders will be placed on here and you'll be able to set, set stop losses and take profit targets and whatnot on the chart. But prior to that, maybe in the first phase with the order books actually being released, what you have is a Divock Origi and you'd see something like this right where you would then be able to dictate where at what price point you want to jump in at origi if you think origi is going to jump drop slowly um slightly to 89p then you might want to jump in at 89p and put a limit order there the thing my concern and how i think it might affect the way people trade is right now all you see is a divok origi price chart right and a price chart doesn't give you a depth of market it doesn't tell you how many people are sat on the buy or the sell side of that player. Now, if you were to go on to a Rigi on the depth of market, the depth of market or the um, the the order book, what you would find is this basically an empty order book with absolutely no orders in there or on the buy uh, bid buy side or the sell ask side. There's literally going to be no orders on either side. What do you then do at that point? Knowing how order books work, do you then just put your order in and forget about it? Or would you still have a scenario where we kind of have the instant buy button still active in the background where you put an order at, 90, um, at 89p and instantly it just disappears even though there's no one on the sell side taking in that order? Do you see my point there? So are we going to have a scenario where FI is still going to be providing a lot of the liquidity on the back end without us actually seeing it on the on the depth of market or the um or the order book as we say because that's going to create a lot of confusion isn't it if you think about it if you think of like honestly I really hope this this makes sense and I hope I'm kind of explaining what I think is going on um if anyone well above my pay grade and has a lot more intelligence than I do with regards to this stuff and maybe it has a lot more experience then please kindly leave me a comment so I can stop worrying about what it is just playing at the back of my head right now because a lot of these questions are still very un unanswered to me I would personally love Adam Cole to come out and say currently we run a system where 80% of the platform's liquidity comes from Football Index I would love to see that because then that would help me understand what what we're actually in at the moment and where we're heading to. Um, because for me, until Football Index starts to rival Paddy Power and the likes of what, what I mean by that is when we start to amass like millions and millions of subscribers, you're not going to find a market where there's going to be instant liquidity in every part of the of the of the of the market you're going to always get players at a different price range who you cannot you cannot physically explain um uh, get those liquidity for because of the the demand for those players maybe they're not at that point that point in their career or they're just playing for a lower league and just on in demand they're not known players they're not going to have a liquid um, depth of market they're not going to have a liquid um, order book what does that then mean for for us traders who are going to be trading off the order book on those illiquid players i i don't know right that's that's um that's my question um to to fi out there is um how they they plan to deal with um, a traders like us coming into the platform and psychologically that kind of breaks you down when you see, when you see this instead of a chart would you still buy a player
that's the question leave me a comment below um let me know what you your your thoughts are on that would you buy origi if if he is still flat like this is this is the question out to you guys right and i want to i want a, a, a very honest answer right so i might try and do a poll if i can i don't think i can on youtube yet but the question is if for diva Corrigi, currently if you found value in diva Corrigi and went to buy him and you looked at the price chart only the price chart of the current football index platform would you buy a Rigi right now based on the price chart and based on the fact that you found value in him now the other side to that question is would you buy a Rigi if you didn't if you saw the price chart but then also saw the depth of market right you you saw the order book and you saw there's no one in the order book would you still buy Origi or would you still attempt to buy Origi at that price please leave your comments below let me know what you think about um the topic of discussion today um i hope i've kind of explained elaborated more on um the video that i released uh, a couple of days ago with regards to the order book we're gonna have to wait to see what the updates from under i didn't call is in a, in a in a three days or so just to kind of shed some light on what the plan is really for phase one um are we going to see some screenshots that's yet to be um to be known um but We'll, we'll just have to wait and see. Um, I might try and contact FI and see if I can get some of these questions answered um, with regards to how the actual um, infrastructure of the market currently works um, and also how orders are, are facilitated on the platform currently um, as opposed to how they would be when the order books come in. If there is a difference there, it's something uh, that I'll be very, very um, intrigued to find out about so yeah anyway i hope um that clarifies everything i hope you guys um did understand that um do leave you leave a comment um and do let me know what your thoughts are on the whole platform in the coming future thank you guys for joining me today and i hope you guys have a brilliant sunday evening bye for now